Right, <laughs> and it's good light from them, and it's hello from me. Okay, the wonderful world of HDSDR, or SDR. I've had a look on YouTube, I couldn't find a basics. They all kind of wandered into technical speech of radio hammery, which is okay if you've got a bit of a background in communications, but if you haven't and you've bought a little HDR box, uh, sorry, SDR box, then you, 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 you steep learning curve. So I'm going to basically a layman's terms for people. So I've got a little SDR box that you can buy for £20 on eBay or whatever. That's got a USB connection into the computer and it's got an aerial connection to a little aerial that's hanging on the wall. That's the hardware side of it. All very cheap. Um, but there's a lot in the but it can be daunting, especially if you're just starting out. So, first of all, software. Uh, I'll leave a link to this one. It's HD SDR. It's the simplest one. It's, it's very powerful, the tools in it, but it's very easy to get to grips with, and it just gives you the information on the screen that you need to look at rather than covering it in a million and one options, which is ideal. Let's just start this thing going and mute them um, and go through what we're looking at here. Top to bottom, we're going to leave this. This is the control panel. We'll leave this till, end, till the last. And we're just going to go through what we're seeing here. So we've got a waterfall and another waterfall. And then we've got a wiggly line, which is showing you all the signals. Yeah, and in between that, you can actually see the um, the frequencies. Um, and you can see clearly there's a signal there. There's a signal there. And we can just jump onto them and listen in and jump over there and we can scroll through them and find more yada 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 but that's going to show you where the signals are this one down here don't worry we'll get to it so here we can see the actual frequencies which are mirrored down here in the control panel we can change it manually or we can literally just grab and drag it to where we want I'm just going to zoom out. I'll get to the zooming in a minute. So you'll see that the uh, the frequencies range that we're seeing is huge now. And there's loads of signals all over it. This is the 70 centimeter ham band, which is high up in the frequencies. OK, that's what the, the, uh, the little line is there. But we'll come back to that. Right. Controls for this. Think of it like this, contrast and brightness. Yeah, there's your brightness. Yeah, see how the colors are changing? Just makes us see it easy. Same with this, you'll see the uh, contrast and brightness changing. It just means you're not looking at that going, oh my God, oh, where do I start? And you're not looking at that going, oh, there's not a lot there. Well, you can just bring it in and see what you want to see. That simple. Contrast and brightness. Right, the next one squidges it all down. You see this uh, range over here on the left. Oh, stretches it all out. So those little signals that you might miss, yeah, suddenly get bigger so you can spot them. This one here actually lowers and raises just up and down on the scale. So you can get rid of all the all the stuff down here that we don't need to look at. It's just static. Then you just bring it down to the bottom. Then we can stretch it all up and we can just see what we're looking at. 
Okay, contrast brightness, stretching, raising and lowering the scale. So we can see, just so we can see, it's not altering anything. It's just making it easier to spot things. This one, quite important, this zooms us in. So we spot a signal there. We can actually zoom in on it. I'll just raise it up a little bit so we can see what's going on. So we can zoom right into it so that we can actually tune right onto the thing. Yeah. And this one, just speed, just slows it down. So all that information is not whizzing through. That is important. If you're looking for signals, bursts, say a pilot speaks for two seconds and it's gone off the top of the scale before you've had time to click on it. Right, so that's what they are doing. Zoom back out again. This down here is just basically a zoomed in view. So that's your tuning. This is your fine tuning. Uh, let's just try and find something here. Um, somewhere. Come on, find me a signal. It's not going to find me a signal now, is it? <laughs> Everybody's run off. But basically, what you'll see is this is just a zoomed in view, and you can fine tune it. Yeah. You're changing the bandwidth. All ah, right, somebody's speaking. We can actually have a look now. So when we look on the uh, zoomed in view, let's alter our contrast and brightness because the controls are completely and utterly repeated for both of these graphs. Now you can see the orange bits, that's the signal. All this blue stuff over here, it's just static. So you have a listen. And we bring it in. We can get rid of the static, but I'll show you a bit more of that. USB cable. There you go. USB, micro USB at that. So it's not changing very fast. And I come down to like... Uh, just cleans the seat. Just fine tuning. That's all it is. Normal tuning. Fine tuning. Just mute them again. So that's, that's, that's it. You can see what's going on with the signals where the static is, where the actual signal is. You can fine tune with this little red line here to clear the signal up. And this, you can find your, find your signals and actually get on them, tune onto them, just by clicking onto it and you're on. And then all these sliders are just altering the way that you can see the information to make it look clearer. Yeah, that's all it's doing. Right. Now the control panel, dun, dun, dun. Let's start with the signal meter. That's just showing you the signal strength coming in. That's all it's doing. There are things on here that I'm not gonna show you because you don't need to know them just yet. So that's your signal strength. So if I come off tune, you'll notice it drops. I come back on tune, and it goes up, yep. Yeah an indication that we're actually getting a signal coming in right so these ones along the top here self-explanatory again if you're looking for am signals click on the am signals as you can see we were listening to an fm signal the signal strength's still there but there's nothing coming in go on to fm it's back okay only ones you really want to be bothered about um am fm at, at the start and then move on to LSB, USB. Yeah. But again, that's particular stuff. There is videos on that. Just get the basics down first. Okay, so that's your frequency. This here, you can actually physically change what you're tuned into. Go on to, on to where, say you wanted uh, 434. Just click on it. And we've gone up to 434. She's over there. Back down to 430. We're back down to 430. And you can click on any one of them. And if you've got a known frequency you need to be on, or you want to be on, you can actually just click click these rather than dragging across. Um, at the side of it, 
we've got presets in there. Um, so um, we're going from FM and up. So that's FM, uh, band, two meter, 70 centimeter. These are all the kind of the high frequency stuff above FM. And then all the low frequency stuff, there's your CBs, 10 meters, handbands, yeah, all the way down to 220 meters. Uh, medium wave, long waves down here. Uh, so if we click on to medium wave, that'll take us straight down to medium wave. And then we can tune into stuff down there. But a little bit more on that in a minute. Let's take it back up to FM. You'll see the signals are completely different here. They're absolutely huge. <laughs> right then. That's that taken care of. And this one that says volume, guess what that's for? Mm, volume. Yes. <laughs> it's that simple. Yeah. Volume slider up and down. Right, these ones here, if you want to record something you're listening to, hit record. If you want to hit play to listen to something back, hit play. That's all they are. Um, these ones I'm going to leave till the very end. Let's go over here. So say we've gone down to, um, where are we going? Uh, let's go to medium wave because we know there's signals down there. Um, now we've changed bandwidth from basically low frequencies to high frequencies. Now most SDRs will have two aerial connections, one for low, one for high, like mine. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just leaning over and I am physically undoing the aerial from one to the other and screwing it in. As you can see, all the signals have gone because I've put an aerial on. Um, now, what I need to do also when I do this is just stop it uh, and go to SDR device. And I need to change it. It's the only time you really need to go in here is change it from IQ sampling to Q sampling, which is just basically, we think of IQ as a high range and Q as the low range. Yeah, what you're going to see when I start it back up again. Woo, all the signals come in. Again, we're just going to alter these so I can see what is going on. Uh, so we've got some big signals here. Let's zoom in. So this is the medium wave, and we can see a signal here. And you can see the red line in the middle and the blue line out. Well, when I alter that, that's the bandwidth going wider, uh, going wider, going narrower. Um, I'm quickly going to press unmute. Yeah, it, is, it, is, it is quite white. Look, it Again, is what it is. They just want to be spurs, key. don't they? Let's be honest. Fine <laughs> tuning. <God. Yes. laughs> close and closer just to becoming spurs. Yep. And we've got signals all over the place. There's another one over here. We just to click on here. Um, and then unmute it. White story. Mm. Do we know if and we can tune into that one as well. Uh, zoom out and it'll give you a clue as to, so there's the big one over here, medium waves, go on that one. Yeah, I'd put you in jail, you'd be in jail, uh, which, you know, it would. Will... Okay. That simple. So we've gone down to low frequency. So we've had to go into SDR. All right. Now then, um, sound cards. Self-explanatory at the moment. I've got it coming out to the speakers. If I wanted it to go to my headset, I could just click on there. The sound's going to come out to my headset. Bandwidth, very important one. Right, this is, see the blue line either side that I'm making go wider and smaller. This is controlled here. So if I'm listening to FM, which is a really wide frequency, I'd need to go onto the and now I can go huge. If I'm listening to voice channels um, like before, I, I just I didn't need to be on 96. I could be on 44. And that is a really narrow bandwidth. Yep. If I went on to like a really small one, 
now that I can't go any wider than that. So when I listen to that, um, it will be absolutely awful. Because I'm not getting all the sound channel coming in. From one to the end. Uh, right. Yeah. Change the bandwidth. In fact, if I do it on the fly. Yeah, so if I go to bandwidth and we open it up to 96 again. And we widen it up. The Sports Bar with TalkSportBet.com. Brilliant broadcaster, best in class. Narrow bandwidth. No good. Wide bandwidth. Yes, offering 2400 mil wall. Widen it up. And 3.5 by 300 mil punk metal cutting disc for just 339. Bought only with a. Okay then. So that's your bandwidth. Options. Don't worry about it. Go watch something. There's lots of stuff in there you don't need to mess with. It will work as it is without having to go in there. Uh, right. So the last thing. I'm just going to show you a couple of things on here. Um, things that you'd need to know. Noise reduction for getting rid of the hiss, higher and lower. You'll hear it on the speakers. The higher you go, the less hiss, but the sound quality goes down. So set it to where it sounds good. NBRF, this one you will use. Okay, now if you watch the actual graph and see what happens. Can you see the baseline going up and down? Now the trick is that baseline is all static. If you like this 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 big blue area, it's all static. So we drop it down. Yeah. Cool. And the trick is is to as you drop that down, you don't want to go so far as to drop. See these signals here? See how they're dropping with them? Yeah. So you want to drop it down, but keep them as high as possible. It's a balancing act. It's kind of getting it in the right area. You will be here, able to hear the static going up and down when you change it. <clears throat> have a play with it oh afc automatic fine tune self-explanatory yeah click on it and it'll automatically fine tune for you um <laughs> turn it off you'll have to do it manually um other bits that i've forgotten um when we're in kind of am this is just a fancy am uh, we can actually bring the gain up. Um, I boost the signal. Let me just. And that's your latest BBC News at three minutes past twelve. Let's get rid of some static. Can you open the camera on BBC iPlayer? You murdered someone. There's the end of show quiz on. Twitter. See that? Come up and down. Nice. How it affects it. Something like better So gain. Dead. Mug plus 16 at the moment. Things he has. My brother never had peace after that. You can actually boost the well, signal. So if you've got a really low watch signal, all episodes on BBC iPlayer. You can boost it up to about 50. Depending on what the signal's like. How are you doing? It's just after midnight. And we'll mute that before we get a copyright strike. Um. So yeah, there you go. Waterfall. Waterfall. Tuning. Signal strength, signals coming in. Yep. Fine tuning. All these sliders, just how you're looking at the information, that it's, that how it's appearing to you to make it easier to spot. Yeah, that's all these sliders are doing. That one's probably the most important, which is zooming in so you can fine tune and get on it. Yeah. You can see the edge of the signals here. Um, obviously, if we are not zoomed in, good luck. <laughs> Zoom in. Piece of cake. Right. Hope that helps. I have just gone through the basics and I've kept it kind of 
without ham radio speech and technology. <laughs> because I know it can be a little bit of a minefield when you first get an SDR and you're trying to get into it and you're hit with a wall of new terminology and new words and it's it's a steep learning curve um, when it's if you've got n no background in it, it it can turn a lot of people off and just throw it in the cupboard i'm not not trying that it's too hard it doesn't work there's no signal blah, 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 blah. any excuse and it's gone that's the basics that's how to get a signal out of it go to fm play with these settings in fm because strong signals big wide signals that you can see um, and then when you've got that down pat, go and have a look at some of the other stuff. You can, with these systems, you can track aircraft. You can pull in images from satellites. You can pull in digital signals from DMR radios from all over the place. Um, you can pull in FT8 signals and decode them or Morse code and decode them and have positions of users all over the map coming up on a map or something there's a load of stuff you can do with it um and it's really inexpensive if you want to get a you know a decent aerial you can do that inexpensively as well you can make one out of a piece of wire for goodness sake you can make a long wire outside or buy one of these loop aerials i've just picked up um and it'll you know open up more frequencies and make and give you more options to do stuff right anyway i hope that helped i've been rambling for long enough um any questions just shout up adios